everybody, it's Mr. Hop here with Classroom Composers. And in today's video lesson, we're going to learn how to make a sound on our trombone, baritone, and euphonium mouthpiece. And then we're going to do some mouthpiece exercises. This is going to correspond with lesson 10 and 11 in the pre-method book. Okay, so let's start off by learning how to make a sound uh, with our mouthpiece. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to say the letter M and freeze it. M. And where your face naturally falls is where you're going to want to keep your face while, while you're making a sound. Make sure that your lower lip is pressed against your teeth and the corners of your lips right here are firm. Um, and now once you've done that, you're going to do what's called buzzing. Now when you buzz, you blow air through your M um, and you get the top lip and the bottom lip to vibrate uh, together and it makes a buzzing sound. That should be the sound that you're going for, and you should feel those lips buzzing together. So, now once you've done that, you're going to want to take your mouthpiece, and your mouthpiece is going to go right in the center. So right in the middle of your face, and 50% of your top lip, 50% of your bottom lip, and right there in the middle, and you're going to do that buzzing straight into that mouthpiece, and it should sound something like this. Make sure that you're checking for a couple things. You need to make sure that your lip, your lower lip is against your teeth. So this is going to be a bad example. I'll show you buzzing bad and then I'll show you what it's going to sound like on here. So this is where my lip is not against the bottom. And then it'll sound like because I'm puckering my lips. And then the second bad example is what it's going to sound like when my lips aren't firm at the corners and on the side. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding those things and you keep the sides and the corners firm and you keep your lower lip against your teeth. Okay, so now what we're going to move on to is we're going to move on to some mouthpiece exercises that you can do to help develop your sound. We're going to do some exercises without even a mouthpiece, without even an instrument. The second thing that we're going to do is we're going to do it with the mouthpiece. And then the third thing we're going to do is we're going to do it with the instrument. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to buzz as long as we possibly can. And then once we're out of air, we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to do it a total of four times. So it'll be like this. Out of air, second time. Out of air, third time. Out of air, fourth and final time. So now that I've done that, we're going to now for our second exercises, we're going to buzz for four total counts. And then once we've done that, we're going to stop, we're going to take a breath, we're going to reset, and we're going to do it a total of four times. To help us with our counting, we're going to turn our metronome on. And here we go. Ready? Breathe. Off. Second time. Ready? Breathe. Off. Third time. Breathe. Off. Fourth time. Breathe. Off right there and stop. Okay, moving on to our third exercise with the buzzing. The third exercise is we're going to buzz four times each for one count total. When we buzz, we want to articulate each new buzz by using the tip of our tongue and uh, speaking the word ta as we're doing that to start each sound. So here we go. Let's get the metronome on. Breathe. <laughs> Second time, breathe, off, third time, breathe, off, fourth time, breathe, ending right there. Okay. 
So now that we've done that, we're going to do those same three rounds of exercises, this time with our trombone, baritone, and euphonium mouthpiece. So we're going to go ahead and buzz with the mouthpiece as long as we can. Out of there. Second time. Out of there. Third time. Out of air, last time. Now we're going to turn the metronome back on and we're going to go four counts for each buzz, four times each. Breathe. Second time, breathe. Third time, breathe. Fourth time, breathe. Off right there. And our third and final mouthpiece exercise is we're going to do four times each for one count total. And then we're doing the whole thing four times. Make sure you're articulating each word with ta. And uh, here we go. Breathe. Off. Second time, breathe. Off. Third time, breathe. Off. Fourth time, breathe. Off. And now we're done. The final round that we're going to do is going to be with the entire euphonium, the entire baritone, the entire trombone. So we're going to grab our instrument and we're going to put our mouthpiece on. And the first round of exercises is we're going to just play and sustain as long as we possibly can. And then when we're out of air, we'll stop and we'll reset it. So here's our first one. Second time. Out of air, third time. And out of air, last time. second round what we're going to do is we're going to turn the metronome back on and uh, we're going to sustain the sound for four counts each and we're going to do it four times total. Now it's important that when you're doing this that you're keeping your sound as steady as possible and you're not moving your body and you're not moving your face and however your face is set that you're just keeping it like that. So here we go let's go ahead and get that metronome turned on here and we're going for four counts each. Breathe. <laughs> Second time, breathe. Third time, breathe. Fourth time, breathe. And off right there. And for our final exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to articulate four times in a row for one count each, a total, a grand total of four times. Make sure you're articulating with the word ta and you're using your tongue to start the sound. So here we go. Let's get that metronome turned on. Breathe. Second time, breathe. time breathe fourth time breathe and off right there make sure you're taking the time to do your buzzing to do just your mouthpiece 
and to use the whole instrument to make a sound so that once you start learning notes and learn to read music that you're set up for the most success possible.